off Namibian workers. Hands off Namibian workers. Stop union busting. My name is Steve Zeltzer. I'm with the United Front Committee for the Labor Party. I'm a, also a journalist union, uh, Pacific Media Workers Guild. And we're here today in front of the Chinese consulate in San Francisco to show our solidarity with comrade uh, Haywood Bukes. He's a labor lawyer in Namibia who has a hearing today and he's being prosecuted or pursued, sued by the Chinese National Nuclear Corporation. He also the, is facing an attack by the government, Namibia, with the support of the government of China for his strong support for Namibian workers. He represents the Namibian uh, Fishermen's Association. He represents dispossessed miners and their families at a mine and he has helped uh, support the struggle of the Rossing miners in Namibia at the uh, mine which is owned by the Chinese National Nuclear Corporation. So this hearing that they're having in, is a fraud. Uh, basically the government of Namibia, Swapo government, has been captured not only by the Chinese capitalists and government but also by other foreign companies like uh, Icelandic Fishing Company and other, other corporations which are investing in Namibia. So we believe that the, the Namibian workers need to be free. They're fighting a union-busting campaign in Namibia in which Chinese workers are replacing Namibian workers. An example of that is a recent decision by the German government to, for, to pay reparations from Namibia. Namibia was a colony of Germany and in the early 20th century and uh, thousands, tens of thousands of Namibians were killed with slave conditions in Namibia. So the German government, as part of reparations, have said they're going to give them 300 million euros to rebuild. But a condition of that loan is that they have to uh, hire Chinese contractors. Now what kind of reparations is that for the Namibian people, for the slavery they endured, uh, when Chinese contractors are going to be brought in to Namibia to do the work of rebuilding the roads? In addition, the Chinese government, which owns 90% of Swapco, is hiring contractors to put the workers on contract, one-year contracts. And in the case of Rossing Mine, they actually are going to, they've laid off miners uh, who are members of the Mine Workers Union of Namibia. Shame on that. They're, so laying off uh, Rossing miners and then they're going to one-year contracts. So they're making them basically contractors. This is called union busting, not just union busting in Namibia, union busting in the United States, union busting all over the world. And we have to oppose that. We have to defend the Namibian miners and we have to demand hands off Haywood Bukes. And the, uh, there is a struggle globally. The Industrial, the union is calling for the uh, the uh, end of the union busting, the rehiring of these miners. And it's also happened at other mines, at the Swapcop uranium mine. They suspended them without, with pay, and then they refused to hear their case, So, which is union busting. You fire workers and then you won't hear their case or you suspend them. So this game of union busting, China is the largest exporter of capital in the world. They export more capital all over the world. So they're buying up the mines and they're buying up uh, the ports and they're basically displacing African workers, Namibian workers. We have to ask, what kind of solidarity is it that the Chinese who say that they're socialist are buying up Namibian property, mines, coal ports, and then replacing the workers with Chinese? That is not solidarity. That has nothing to do with socialism. It has nothing to do with defending the working class. Now, it is true that American companies and European companies do the same thing. They are engaged in union busting and attacking workers in Namibia. But we have to say, and we oppose that, we're against work, union busting all over the world and workers all over the world have rights to freedom of association. And that's exactly what's being attacked here uh, in Namibia. The Chinese government, uh, the Chinese National Nuclear Corporation, which is a state-owned company, is telling the workers of Namibia they don't have the right to have a union, they don't have a right to fight. And what was this about? Chinese National Nuclear Corporation bought that mine. They signed a statement saying they would not engage in union busting, they wouldn't attack the union, and they wouldn't attack the labor conditions uh, of the uh, Namibian workers. And what they did is, they, uh, when they went in, they first tried to cut the, the health care conditions of the workers. They brought in Chinese workers to replace uh, Namibian workers, and uh, when the union fought that, they fired the entire leadership of the union, nine, nine stewards uh, of the mine. So. This is an act of union busting and it's been going on now for three years and enough is enough. Stop, Stop union busting! Hands off Hayward Fuse! 
were demanding that the, the workers wrote a letter, Xi Jinping, uh, calling on him to end this union busting. They haven't heard back from him. I guess he has other business he's involved in. But we have to say that they have to take responsibility. It's like a U.S. company buying up the property in Mexico and then firing workers. Now, in Mexico, as a matter of fact, they've been recolonized. U.S. multinationals have bought the mines, they bought the railroads, uh, and they're buying telecom to destroy the workers of Mexico. So the same thing is going on all over the world. We don't make an exception for the Chinese. We say it's a global problem of union busting. And we have to build a working class movement globally to fight union busting and to defend the workers of the world. Workers of the world unite, and that's why we're here today. We're saying stop the union busting, rehire the miners, hands off Haywood Bukes. And we also have a statement uh, from Comrade uh, uh, Newt, uh, who is uh, a member of the ILWU, and he couldn't be here today because he's working, but he did send a statement in solidarity. Power to the people, comrades. I hate that I can't be there in a physical form to show solidarity with you on this issue, but I am there in spirit, and we will be there in the battle and the war against these capitalists that have taken over the Namibian mines and assassinating the character of our attorney that's representing this case. This is heinous that we allow these things to happen. The Chinese government should be ashamed of themselves for uh, conducting business this, this way and showing little to no compassion to killing people that are working hard for their families. Stand with us as we represent the ILWU, International Longshoremen Warehouse Union, as we fight against these capitalists, and we will not stop the fight. We will not give up, and we will see an end to this atrocity. We will win. All power to the people. Together we stand. An injury to one is an injury to all. Thank you, Newt for your statement of solidarity. And the ILWU Local 10 had a delegation to South Africa, to Durban, and they learned about the case of the Namibian miners, and they signed a statement of solidarity, and we're urging other similar actions all over the world, in England and every country of the world. We have to stand in solidarity, we have to build solidarity uh, for our brothers and sisters around the world, and right today in Namibia. And this hearing that they're having in Namibia of Haywood Bukes is a complete farce. The government officials have been bribed. They are benefiting from union busting. SWAPO, which calls itself a socialist government, is actually the officials have been paid off and they're benefiting from contracting out at these mines. In other words, they're actually contracting out their jobs and the government is involved in this contracting out, as is the American government, which contracts out jobs. The American government contracts out jobs as well through nonprofits and other agencies. In San Francisco, you have thousands, literally thousands of workers doing public work in San Francisco. And, and they work for nonprofits. They've contracted out their jobs. And they work for substandard wages and conditions. So this is not just a, a problem unique to Namibia. It's right, happening right here in San Francisco in the United States. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. No justice. And we have some chalkers here today, some beautiful artwork in front of the consulate. It's probably the first time uh, that there's ever been a chalking uh, in front of the Chinese consulate. So these are beautiful signs. And I think we need more art, actually. So we're going to build this international movement and continue the fight for the revolutionary love for it's a revolutionary love brigade. Love for the uh, Namibian workers and miners by chalking in front of the Chinese consulate here in San Francisco. Union busting! Hands off, Hayward Fuchs!